Oh, don't you dare hold back. Just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. He said, shut up and solve with him. Who's him? He's me, Professor Swan Isaac Barry from Barry Science Lab. And today we will be looking at chapter one of Special Relativity in 70 minutes. But first, let's go to Einstein's patent office in Twitter, 1905. Oh, let's see what he's writing. He's writing a paper on special relativity. And that proves Newton wrong. Suddenly, Leibniz woke up from the grave. And you know what he said? Mamma me, I mean, I mean, German, you're not Italian. Europe is complicated. Okay? Ich habe dir gesagt. Ich habe die Infinite. And then the British just shut him up and then buried him back in. <laughs> so, yeah. That wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice of the British. I mean, they already have a colonial empire. Why do they have to own a grave in Germany? <laughs> Anyways, let's go to, well, chapter one of relativistic speeds in seven minutes. Change color, so black and white. Uh, Earthling, Earthling, Earthling alert. And then we have space. This is a new sport for children. Soccer is good, football is worse, um, uh, I guess ch chess is good, even better than soccer, but this is the best sport for them. Okay, okay, so, um, for the guy, for this guy over here, facelink alert, facelink, facelink, then, up, down. If this is D, I'm having a seesaw all over the board right now, this is L, L, who's L? L is V, delta, T over 2. Is just a, a T is just the time to have tweet this and uh, hitting the light switch back. All right, you might not understand what I'm saying, but I'm trying to be as comprehensive as I can in, I, I don't know, three minutes. A uh, 2D over C, and that's T naught. Uh, but well, what about T? What is T? T, T, T. The British like T. Okay, um, um, uh, this American, not the British, the British actually because the Americans drank the tea up and then uh, the American, or Earthling, Earthling alert, see the bounce, 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 bounce. So that means this L means that this is, uh, no, no, D squared plus L squared, D squared plus L squared. All right, all right, all right, uh, arms up. Oh, hands up. T is equal to two square root of D squared plus L squared over, oh, oh no, oh no, I switched. I damn switched. Oh my God, I do not like sandwich. Yes, all right, square both sides. So square two, oh, five, four. That's gonna be uh, D squared and then L squared. Uh, v, T over two squared. That's gonna be uh, V squared, D squared over four. That's a ridiculous amount of squares. Square, square, squares. And then we have T squared. How many squares? A lot of squares. Anyways, uh, we distribute four, which gives us this abomination. And then we split the fraction up. Okay. Uh, I should probably chill out with the squares. And that, that gives us this. You can read, uh, pause the video if you want to actually catch up. Uh, okay, so c squared minus v squared equals four d squared over t squared. That's a lot of squares. Um, inverse everything. So squared, v squared. So many squares to see, so many squares to do. But of course, you cannot see that many squares. Squares are limited in supply. Squares will run out by the time you square root. So get your a free square right now. Otherwise, let it disappear forever. Squared, squared, pause the video and never come back to get your squared. Please don't pause the video and never come back. All right, so if we square root everything, that gives us 2D over C, square root of one minus V squared, C squared. Uh, that gives us T equals um, T naught over square root one minus V squared. One out of three. Now, one contraction. All right, what is ent contraction? Burp. That's what it is. Just kidding. Just kidding. It's not burp. So we know that T 
is actually equal to um <coughs> t it's equal to d over v i mean l over v i'm really getting tired and t not is equal to l over v all right 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 so mm, the thing is l is equal to v t how how well v t not actually because we know but t not wait for it wait for it t not is actually well we know that t is equal to t not times gamma so that means the t not is t over gamma so v t over gamma and that that gives us l equals what is v t well v t is <coughs> well l not i forgot because L not equals V T and you can derive it from this equation and so L is equal to L not over gamma. Done with leg contraction. Two out of three. Alright. So final thing, final thing, final thing. Final thing is mass, mass dilation. So in order to conserve the law of conserving the momentum, uh, we must use this equation. That we always use in uh, everything, but for everyday speeds, I'm da dancing, gamma is mostly one for everyday speed. Why am I taking the time to write every day? All right, so um, that's because one over a year, okay, you guys can know, you guys can do basic sixth grade math. Oh my God. Uh, and then finally, uh, because of this, some people, not all people, but some people define this to be right. We're going to draw this graph and here is gamma. What is gamma? You said no already. All right. I just pronounce things weird because I do. All right. V. And when V is normal, gamma is very small. But then it slowly goes up and up. Actually, the thing is, these would be switched poles. But still. All right. So. Um, that's the way I'll be ending the lecture. Um, I think that's seven minutes, right? Time to talk. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.